12 seconds here in this end. The respect from those two. And that's it. It's over. The historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers conquer the bubble. And banner number 17 will soon hang in the rafters. Of course, the finals MVP trophy, as you just said, is named after Bill Russell, who has been with us every year for the finals, but of course couldn't be in the bubble this year, but I know he's watching at home. And I have a feeling that this finals MVP is going to have a trophy named after him one day. The finals MVP is LeBron James. Well, you're stuck with him. LeBron, congratulations. You said the other day, and I want to read this to get it exactly right, Lakers fans, quote, don't give a damn about what you've done before. When you become a Laker, you've got to do it with them as well. Well, you have done it, LeBron. What does it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot to represent this franchise. Um, Jeannie, I told Jeannie when I came. Well, LeBron, I'm going to tell you, four finals MVPs, your fourth title with three franchises, extremely elite company, and in year 17 as well. you got a guy in your ear right now telling you're the greatest of all time. You're just a couple months shy of your 36th birthday. Yeah. Is this the longest crime in the history of professional sports? I don't know. I'm going to let you guys talk about it. Um, one thing I can do is a uh, game. Um, I put myself, my body, and my mind in position to be available to my teammates. Um, I've never missed a playoff game in my career. And uh, the best thing you can do for your teammates is be available. And uh, for me to be available to my teammates and put in the work, um, I just hope I make my guys proud, and, and that's all that matters to me. I make my guys proud, make the fan base proud, my family back home. I can't wait to get back home to them. Akron, Ohio, we did it again, and, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. You have had an incredibly close partnership with the guy over there to your left. What can you say about the way you two work together to get this trophy here tonight? I mean, it's easy. It's easy. Um, I said it in the presser. Uh, before, we have no ego. Um, we want the best from each other every single day, both in off the floor, on and off the floor. And I know what it means to have seven years uh, where you feel like um, that you can't get over the hump. You know, I had seven years my first stand in Cleveland. I felt like I couldn't get over the hump. I felt like I needed some help. I felt like I need someone to push me. And that's when I was able to go to Miami and get pushed by D. Wade and Bosch in that franchise. And so to be able to get him and we push him and let him know how great he is, which is making him see better basketball and better to be a part of something that's special. That's what it's all about. So to be able to put him where he is today, I, I, that means so much to me. And the fact that he trusts me uh, means even more. You were very vocal coming in here that you weren't just trying to win a title in this bubble, but you wanted to be a real voice for social change in what has been one of the most turbulent years in American history. When you look back about what the entire NBA Brotherhood did in this bubble, what will you think of? Uh, it's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. We didn't know. It was the unknown. Um, but I think Adam, I think everybody from the NBA to MBPA putting this thing together, um, us using, being together, you know, you, you hear Golden State always use the phrase strength in numbers. And that's exactly what it was while we were here as a as the NBA, as the MBPA. All our players, everybody had a voice on what's going on in America. So um, we know we, want to see, we all want to see better days. Um, and when we leave here, we got to continue to push that, uh, continue to push uh, social injustice, continue to push for voter suppression, continue to push for police brutality, continue to push for everything that's the opposite of love. And I think if we can continue to do that, all of us, um, America would be a much better place, which we all love this, this country. Ron, thank you so much for pushing against all of those things. Congratulations on that trophy in your hand and your fourth NBA title.